Some of the universe's darkest mysteries are coming into focus thanks to a new telescope which happens to hold the world's largest digital camera ever built. The first images from the Vera C. Rubin Observatory were released today and joining me now to talk more about what they reveal is Philip Ferguson, president of the Canadian Aeronautics and Space Institute at the U of M. Philip, good to speak with you. Great to be here, thanks. I know stargazers have been eagerly waiting to see these uh, first images. Uh, I'm curious, did it exceed your expectations and, and what exactly do these images reveal? Well, so I, I think what's amazing about this is, you know, this isn't the first time that we've seen incredible pictures from space. We saw amazing pictures from Hubble Space Telescope and in fact, even more recently from the James Webb Space Telescope. But what's incredible about this one is the sheer size of this Imager. I mean, it's it's gargantuan, and what that's allowing us to do now is to take pictures uh, of the of the night sky many, many, many times per night. So it's not just that this imager is huge and it's got amazing resolutions, but it can also move very quickly. So in only three days, we can take pictures of the entire night sky, and that's important to see how things are changing over time. Yeah, this telescope and observatory are pretty remarkable. Uh, can you tell us a bit about what makes it so special? Yeah, so, so first of all, it's where it is. So, so in Chile, they have uh, incredibly dark skies and it's a very dry area. So they have very few uh, disturbances in the atmosphere. So they can get a very, very clear picture of what's going on up in space. But then the other thing that makes this so special is how quickly this telescope can shift from taking one picture to another picture, another picture, and another picture, just kind of scanning that sky. And that's important because then we can take a picture of the entire sky in three days and then go back and take a picture of it again, and then again, and then again. And it's because it's, what we're interested in is how this is changing over time so that we can detect things like asteroids and comets to get some idea of what else is out there and what's potentially moving and which could actually impact Earth. Yeah, this is being described as a game changer. Uh, how could this telescope, you know, change astronomy forever? Well, I, I think really what it's able, what it's allowing us to do is get a very clear picture of how the universe around us is changing. I, I mean, for so long, uh, up until now, we've only really been able to get sort of one snapshot of what's happening right now, or, or really the light that we're seeing, which of course is coming from many, many light years away. But now with this telescope, we're able to see uh, this time scale, that how things are changing and allows us to detect these asteroids that so far have been pretty much impossible for us to detect. I, I, I read earlier today that they have already made initial discoveries with this telescope and it isn't even fully online yet. They've discovered new asteroids that they have not seen before and that's only made possible because of their ability to take these incredibly high resolution photos many, many times per night. Any cosmic mysteries you hope this telescope can uh, shed some light on, you know, as it continues to scan the skies? Well, you know, I have to say uh, the, the namesake of this telescope is as uh, Vera Rubin, who is an incredible pioneer uh, leading the way of, of astronomical uh, research. And she studied uh, dark matter and dark energy. And so what this telescope is hopefully going to show us is the impact of that dark matter and dark energy on the universe and how it's really shaped uh, Earth and everything around us in our Milky Way galaxy. So I think in addition to just looking out for asteroids that may some they obliterate this planet. Um, certainly following in the footsteps of incredible scientists like Vera Rubin um, is, is an honor. Pretty cool stuff. Philip, thanks for explaining it all for us. It was great speaking with you. Great. Thanks so much.